Hi, this is Peter Hosking. Thanks for your time. This is a brief compilation of some of my work on... ...the latest or the best. It's just what I've got available to me right now. I think of the stubby as one of the marvels of modern man. Yeah. I mean, glass. It's so pure and practical. Yeah. Easy to open and what a drinking experience. Yeah. There must be millions of reasons why glass is the ultimate container. Yep. All right, Macca, why do you drink beer in stubbies? Well, it tastes better, doesn't it? Yeah. Beer in stubbies. Yeah. It tastes so good. It's uncanny. Well, the money's no problem, but why do you need new ice, Susie? Simple economics, Harry. They'll cost me less to run, take bigger payloads. Bigger payloads, eh? Yeah. The drivers love them. G'day, boss. Plus, I'll get top dollar for these old SPRs. The new medium-duty Isuzu F-Series with improved fuel economy, a roomier cab, and even more reliability. Well, Joe, you got my blessing. <laughs> I'll see you in ten years' time. The Isuzu F-Series. It comes with your accountant's blessing. The quality sardines are 20 delicious little sardines with a unique, lightly smoked flavor. Packed only in their natural juices, they're rich in protein and vitamins. Fresh from the icy shores of Norway. King Oscar sardines. Anything less is just a piece of fish. The following is an excerpt from In Between, a program shown on SBS TV about the problems of growing up in a multicultural environment. This program won a Children's TV Award in New York in 1986. I'd like to assure you girls that the boys don't go on like this forever. It only takes a few classes for them to settle down. You just have to be patient because our sex isn't as mature as yours at this age. What is this? Sister. <laughs> and we'll be discussing all sorts of derogatory terms like that later, Con, and what it implies about the people who use them. But for now, before we can have any real discussion about human sexuality, we've all got to know what, what we're talking he? about. Pop star. And that means knowing what yeah. words mean. We've got to know the right names in different or parts or of our bodies. Yes. Yeah, We've got to know what words like conception, I reckon you ought to forget about that stuff. contraception right. actually mean. I don't know him. You want to find out about these people, you want to realise most of them aren't worth worrying about. So we're going to Can start you say that? Taking a look at so I try and help my people. There are a lot of poor people in my country, Aunt. So, starting here, what do we call this? Third stump. Why not trust a snake? Penis is the correct term. P E N I S. Now, this might be a bit frightening for some of you, but I want you all to repeat the word after me. Okay? Penis. 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 Oh dear, no need to be so shy. Come on, all of you at once. Come on, penis. 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 Hey, so the roof hasn't fallen in. We're all still here. Everything's okay, so let's continue. Don, what about. Testicles. Ah! Right. Now, what are the girls? Uh, Helen. Oh, it's vagina, sir. Right, the vagina. V A G I N A. Now, the vagina is the internal organ. Now that you've had your education, here's part of an episode I did for the ABC. My work for the ABC more recently includes two series of the fast lane. However, this was me and Keepers in 1984. I'm the one steering. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> I don't know what you mean, Mr. McGuinness. Almost lost a couple of potties, a pack of wild dogs for yourself. This wasn't a pack, Bates. That was one. Hunting alone. Well, curse these wild dogs. Haven't come to make any deals, if that's what you're thinking. The thought never crossed my mind, Cole. It's about Charlie Bates' dingo. Dingo? Oh, now, don't you start. 
That mangy dingo brought down one of my prize ewes this morning. Well, what makes you think Charlie's dog was responsible? Dingo. It's a dingo, and we all know what stock killers they are. Got any proof? Lindsay Beecham saw Bates's dingo a quarter of a mile from my place just before I found that you. Rivers, did you shoot the night before I confiscated your rifle and ammunition? I had a permit to shoot ten. I know that, but how many did you shoot? Well, obviously ten. You saw them yourself. Familiar? They ought to be. I found them in the back of your ute. All 35 of them. You're... How many more do you need, Jack? You sure it was killed during the night? Like I told you on the phone, I checked them this morning, they were fine. Okay. It should be easy enough to track for last night's rain. No need. I know he's been getting into the fence. Yeah, just give me five minutes, I'll get my rifle. We'll manage, Cole. They're my use. Look, Cole, you wanted the law, you got the law. Let's do it my way, okay? Well, just make sure you shoot straight. For now, folks, thanks for your time. Still, I can lay my hands on for now, folks. Thanks for your time, and I look forward to seeing you.